I will say though, my friend and my colleague, meteorologist Andrew Kozak, he's on assignment, quote unquote, down the shore this evening. Kozak, when you were getting all your stuff ready to go this evening, you forgot something. And let me let me go grab it real quick, all right? You yeah, forgot yeah. this. Yeah. You you forgot your beach ball down the shore. So I wanted to make sure before you got your toes in the sand, you got your beach ball, and then you can tell us whatever you're doing down there on, on assignment today. So here's your beach ball. Appreciate that. Get <laughs> it'll get down there eventually. Oh, I got it. I got it. Thank you, Grant. I appreciate that. <laughs> Man, we're all about the left. tech here at CBS. <laughs> at CBS News Philadelphia. Uh, no, I am here live at the Deauville Inn. Uh, it is a beautiful beach day. Grant, of course, was talking about some of those thunderstorms that are popping up, and we could see some of those towering cumulonimbus clouds uh, in the distance as well. But so far, it has been a hot day. It's been a relatively dry day across the area. I do want to talk about something, though, since we're in Cape May County, something that's very interesting in the Jersey Shore, and that's called the Cape May Bubble. Let me talk about that because it is a very unique thing to the south area of the Jersey Shore. Cape May bubble. Well, you may notice that you're not alone if a couple of storms start dodging the Cape May bubble. It's called that. It's, no, it's not an actual bubble. It's the area's unique geography. You know, Cape May sits between the Atlantic Ocean and the Delaware Bay. And because of that, you get sea breezes that come in. The uniqueness of this area can actually get some of those storms kind of scattered around. And that's why inland areas oftentimes see the thunderstorms. It's just a really unique way that this area is set up between two bodies of water, one very big one and one very small one, that can create a very unique, small little micro weather pattern that can help areas like Cape May and the south area of Cape May County avoid thunderstorms. Not every day, but often, more often than not, we get that happening. So that's kind of cool. Little little tidbit of knowledge there as we enjoy a very nice day here uh, in Deauville on the bay right now. Temperatures are in the 80s and 90s. It's been a very hot day so far, but we're having a good time. And of course, I appreciate you, Grant for getting me that beach ball. I'm going to make good use of it out here since I'll be out here for at least a couple hours. Thank you so much. And of course, uh, we'll be live here again at five o'clock. For now, I am Andrew Kozak at the Deauville Inn, CBS News, Philadelphia. Andrew, we appreciate all of the uh, information. I'm not so sure we appreciate the singing, though. <laughs> Listen, I tried. That's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you always, Andrew. Thank you very much, man. Have a good time out there.